Hi Capricorn, welcome to your August 2018 monthly readings. Um, I'm a bit late with yours as well as a few other people. I do my best, people. <laughs> I'm a Sag. I got a lot going on. Sometimes I don't even know how I get stuff done, you guys. Uh, so I'm going to be using, they're called like, um, they're like nature healing cards. Okay, so it's like, you know, like fruits, vegetables, uh, plants, flowers, that type of thing, uh, just because I need to be a little more grounded with everything that's energetically happening, and I deal with energy, so I'm highly influenced by the energies. Uh, you guys got an apple tree. So, uh, with apples, it's about, like, um, okay, it, it's, this month is about ethics, okay? So you want to ensure that you're doing things on a moral level that are proper, okay? You want to be ethically uh, responsible and... and um, okay, it's not about being right is what I'm getting. It's about being correct, okay? And there's a difference between doing the right thing and the correct thing, okay? And it's... It's usually a Virgo's area of expertise, so if you know any Virgos, you may want to uh, get near them, okay? Because Virgos know the difference between them. Uh, but it is talking about ethics, okay? Um, well, apples, um, if you're suffering from headaches, okay, so you could be highly influenced by, like, even moon cycles, things like that, okay? Uh, apples can be really good for headaches, cramping, um, I'm just gonna shuffle this deck. I already premeditated and shoveled on it. Um, if you suffer from morning sickness, it could be really good for that. Low blood sugar, eating an apple can really help. Okay. Um, again, it's coming down to ethics, so. It's taking responsibility for the knowledge you have and doing things, uh, the things that you've accumulated, you want to do it on a, you choose to live more of like a ethical lifestyle, okay? So it's like, you know, at some point this month, you do have Saturn in your sign, okay? It is at home. A lot of people have the misconception just because you're a Capricorn, it's going to mean like great things happen towards you, okay? I'm sure all the viewers that are watching, I'm sure that's true for you guys, uh, but there is... Uh, the sense where Saturn is a planet where you reap what you sow, okay? So if you're not doing things on a moral or ethical level, uh, or this is somebody around you, they will reap what they sow. So you, uh, it's a, and with Jupiter being in Scorpio, it's a purification time, okay? So people are getting their, like, last chance. Uh, well, I kind of see that more as in, and I've stated this before, Capricorns, it's going to happen in Capricorn season where people will face their judgment, all right? Like, uh, that is what Saturn and Capricorn's about, okay? But it still has Saturn, okay, it's still, it's a three-year, three-and-a-half-year cycle. So right now, with Jupiter being in Scorpio, there's a purification process happening, okay? So uh, it's like redemption. People are getting, their souls are going to be judged by the time um, Jupiter hits Capricorn, and that will happen while Saturn's still in Capricorn season. But Jupiter does have to make it through Sagittarius, Okay, so the soul still has to go through the Sagittarius experience with Jupiter, their luck. Okay, they will reap what they sow. When if you if you ethically stayed on the the proper path, well then, what's going to happen when Jupiter hits Sag is you're or you're going to reap uh, quite a bit from that. All right, uh, what's going to happen to the people that ethically didn't stay aligned? Okay, didn't make it through the purification process with uh, the portal. With Jupiter being in Scorpio, uh, when Jupiter hits Sag in its home sign, they're they'll be showing their they're gonna have like hiccups, <laughs> like touched by an angel. They're gonna be showing to them, and that will be like the it's like the final countdown. <laughs> it's coming to mind, uh, but you know, like that's my take on it. Though the way I perceive things are a little bit different than. Uh, some other people, you know, some people could have the same opinions. That would be great. <laughs> I do have a Sag Mercury. I'm a Sag Sun, Leo Moon, Virgo Rising. It's like, I got a Stellium in Scorpio. I got a little bit of Taurus in me. 
And then the Aquarius, Mars, and Venus. So I'm quite stubborn. I got a lot of fixed energy. Okay, so we got three cards that fell out. We got the moon. All right, so it's like what's what's hidden will come to light eventually. Okay, you got Pisces here, which is very magical. Okay, Pisces are magical, magical creatures. <laughs> I love Pisces. They can really screw with me. Speaking of which, in Pisces reading, I was... Um, they got something in there about leveling up, and I went through this whole, like, Sonic the Hedgehog sp spiel, how they have to face the boss at the end, right? And then, like, literally the next day, I was listening to some music, and Sierra came on, and she has a new song called Level Up. And I was like, God damn it, Pisces. <laughs> They're like, Pisces can screw with your mind. I didn't even know she had a new song called Level Up. So, I mean, that song probably will have a lot... Uh, it happened after I already, like, did the video, so, like, Pisces, you're just magical. If there's a Pisces Capricorn cross, you freaking magical, man. Okay, so your cards that you got, Capricorn, is the Eight of Cups. You have the King of Pentacles, and then you got the Nine of Wands. Okay, so you're pretty guarded about something, all right? There's something that emotionally you're holding on to. Uh... <sighs> You're, like, putting the wall up against something. I'm not sure what it is, though. Okay. It, there's an old way or something old that has to uh, be removed, okay? And I'm feeling like for some of you guys, this could be, like, you emotionally get off balance when you're not eating properly. So this means getting the proper nutrition into your system, like having oatmeal in the morning, fibers, stuff like that. Okay? Could really fluctuate your moods okay there's something about your moods here needing to change and that can mean a lot of different things okay so the way i do readings is i just i get energy and i interpret the energy which means that like i can only see the core issue and how that um applies to all of you is going to be different right like that like, because there's so many ways that that core issue can um affect people and for each one of them it'll be different so for some of you guys this is like your emotional um the way you handle things emotionally kind of needs to change but it's also i am getting for some of you guys it's foods so like when your blood sugar is low you could you could uh get really moody so if you're a man okay so if you're a woman watching <laughs> I don't know, some of you guys might have heard me say this before. Okay, men suffer from something called, they get hangry. Okay, hangry. That's right. <laughs> it's They're hungry, so they're angry. So it's called hangry. It's like when your husband gets really moody, or if you're a man and you start to get moody, it's because you're hungry. All right? So it's pretty simple. You just feed them, and their moods will change. Okay? So it's getting your... Um, Getting yourself on a proper schedule, uh, food-wise. So eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, that's really important. Others of you, you want to watch your drinking. This is going out and drinking too much. I am getting that. You need to create healthy boundaries with yourself. Okay, this is not about other people. This is about you. Okay, uh, ethics, morals, values. You need to, what you're practicing, like what you're preaching, you need to practice. It's saying, okay? For others of you, you like there's something old you need to let go, and you need to uh, do something new. Like so, it's like an old job that you had. Like maybe you're changing fields now. You're never too old for that, right? You need to take action on it, though. There's no like dwelling on things. So what you need to know is, in some manner, you're emotionally holding on to things. Okay, it's saying that you'll let them go at some point. This month, it is asking you to release something. What that is, I don't know. Okay, so it could be like somebody did you down and dirty at a job. Somebody's going to say something that emotionally gets you off balance, but it's to have forgiveness and let it go. Okay, it's to understand that that person's hurting and that's why they're acting like that. Okay, uh, for others of you, it's like... Okay... So, like, if you're feeling very defensive or somebody around you is very defensive, it's because they want their own space. 
All right. They need time to clear their mind. They're emotionally off balance and you just need to respect that. But they're so you need to see things a little bit, a little bit different here. And then for others of you, if you're dealing with your spouse or maybe it's a son, it's called hangry. They're hungry. And that's why they're angry. OK, there it's pretty simple. Others of you may need to put boundaries up with other people, but I am seeing this more within yourself. OK, this is holding yourself accountable. Uh, not pointing the finger and saying, this is why I can't do that. This is why I can't do this. There's none of that happening. This is taking full responsibility and accountability for yourself. Uh, the word equality came through, but not so much. Like when equality came through, it turned to equity. I don't know why. Okay, so if you've noticed, I am getting, okay, if you've noticed that you're putting on weight in the stomach area, this is because you're holding on to emotions, all right? So what I said about emotionally letting go of things or uh, moving past things in an emotional sense, okay, for those that it'll apply to, it'll be the people that have been gaining weight in the stomach area uh, because you're emotionally holding on to things. You have the seven of swords here some sort of trickery, manipulation, that type of thing. Again, this is coming down to what I said earlier. You want to ensure that things are done the proper way because what you give is going to be what you receive, right? You reap what you sow here. Others of you might need to keep some things to yourself, right? Like there's some sort of betrayal that has happened and this could be within yourself. This could mean like lying to yourself, all right? This is like honestly looking yourself in the mirror and admitting things to yourself that you may not want to um, admit or see, all right? We all have to do that. In order to heal, you have to recognize these things, okay? It's made you, there's something that's happened that's made you a little hard. Others of you may have, um, okay, either a Gemini or a Sagittarius child, that uh, <coughs> could be doing, ex like, if you're dealing with a Sag or a Gemini, okay, they're uh, planning things, so they might not be telling you something, they might just do it without telling you. Uh, I'm seeing that uh, this has come up before for you guys. I'm seeing Phil from uh, uh, Three Pentacles just flipped out there. I'm seeing Phil from Prince of Bel Air uh, and that Will Smith, but I'm seeing the episode of like when Will Smith go is like singing to Phil, I'm not going nowhere. There's that song, I'm not leaving you or I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> I don't know if you have a child uh, that maybe might be annoying you, but it's endearing. It's kind of endearing in the manner that they're doing it, where they're like breaking down your walls. <laughs> this is hysterical. Okay, there's a plan here. Like, okay, so if you're like gaining weight, you're holding on to things emotionally. Okay, so this means that things need to be expressed in order to get back on track here. Okay. Also, I'm getting something about free will here. You can't bend free will. All right. Uh, because I'm seeing horns here, like I'm seeing horns, the eye from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like basically what I'm getting Capricorn is like, if you're doing magic, okay. Uh, don't be doing that. Don't be doing that shit. Okay, I'm telling you right now, you cannot bend free will. It's going to backfire. You're going to attract some pretty negative uh, stuff towards you and not positivity. You cannot bend free will. All right. Uh, there's natural magic in the world that plays out and there's no shortcuts. Okay. You have to experience things. You have to wait for things. You have to be patient for things. Uh, you, you have to go through ups and downs. There's people that you have to meet that sure the situations may go, may go awry, uh, may not work out. You may get involved in a relationship that doesn't work out. 
uh, but you have to experience those things in order to stay on your path and to get to where you need to go. So if you're using magic and you think that you can just magically uh, bypass all of these things that the universe has for you, you can't. It's going to backfire and you're going to attract more of the devil energy than you are the um, positive energy, the natural energies that the universe has for you. There's very much a letting things go with the flow here. Uh, don't do not do magic. It's just going to backfire on you. It, you can't mess with free will. Okay, You can't uh, make th rush things or make things happen that aren't meant to be. Like, And if you are playing with magic, okay, there's consequences for those things. You're going to have to sacrifice something in order to gain. You're making a deal with the devil. Right? And there's always strings attached with the devil. Okay, so there's also something here, ensuring your mind is clear, because you may be, I say this quite often too, uh, your fears are heard as well as your prayers are heard. So ensure that your prayers are the ones being fed and not your fears. Okay? There's definitely a path that you need to go on. Okay, and I mean, there's details uh, you don't want to miss. Okay, that card kind of popped up a bit. So what's oh, you got two. You got justice. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I always get the law and order theme with this. Okay. And then another card flipped out was the two of pentacles. And the two of pentacles is actually associated with Capricorn. It's a Jupiter and Capricorn placement. All right. So this is like the circus act because that's a hard energy to have. I have that energy. <laughs> it's probably why I don't. Don't make a lot of decisions uh, because it's like the best way I can describe it. It's like um, in the circus when you got all the you're juggling the balls. It's like so you may have a lot going on. You need to balance the scales again. Going back to the emotions. If you're gaining weight, well then emotionally you're repressing things. You're holding on to things. If you're drinking a lot, spending a lot of money. Uh, Using certain things as tools to uh, avoid, so watching a lot of TV, playing a lot of video games, okay, uh, avoidance here, well, or you're being obsessed with some sort of thing here, that will affect you. You need to be very balanced, you need to make precise decisions, uh, very practical and grounded uh, decisions. I was going to say precision, I'm not sure why. So also talking about if you don't know something, getting the details for it, all right? Admitting when you're wrong as well, too, or somebody else admitting when they're wrong, okay? Uh, I do, okay, with the justice card, what I'm getting with that is what I was talking about earlier. And I know it sounds weird, but by the time uh, Jupiter enters Capricorn, people are going to reap what they sow at that point. I am getting reaping what you sow. I'm seeing a thread in the needle. Maybe some of you are into crochet or you're fashion designers, all right, Capricorns actually make really good designers. They're a little more practical and methodical, um, more like streamlined with their uh, fashion, but it's it's quite elegant, their fashion. I do, you know, I know a few Capricorns that design things and I do enjoy them, okay? I'm also hearing blues music. I'm not sure why. <laughs> uh. The scales will be balanced. So if people have hurt you in the past, don't worry about it. Don't participate in any of it. Just move along, okay? Like, you need to be very balanced with the way you make decisions here. It's not, um, oh, look, at check that out. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Aries had that too, okay? This is about facts, detail-oriented, uh, research and development. It's, but it's also about Capricorns. In order to be the teacher, you have to be the student, all right? Like, uh, if somebody around you is trying to, Okay, you may have a snake around you, all right? So the snake would be like somebody who, uh, with the Seven of Swords here, okay, is a manipulator, all right? They they can steal other people's ideas. Uh, they can get information from other people and then claim it as their own. So copyright and stuff like that, you know, like, uh, you know, you ever seen that movie Coco? <laughs> 
if you've seen that movie Coco, you'll know what I'm talking about, all right? Like, the, the husband, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Maybe you should watch it, all right? Like, it doesn't matter how old. I get my dad to watch cartoon movies all the time. My, do my, you know who my dad reminds me of? You ever seen that movie, um, Hotel Transylvania? <laughs> my dad's like Count Dracula in that movie where, and I feel like I'm the, like, like his daughter, like the little girl where, oh, it's, it's hysterical. You want to ensure people, okay, like you're, you're on the up and up. All right. Like, so, uh, that's given credit to those who uh, deserve it. So it's like, if you get information, you know, like the way I got information about the apple tree is because I've studied it, right? Like in not just one source. Okay. That's the Knight of Pentacles there. And the Knight of Pentacles is a fact oriented person. They're a realist. So they take things at face value, like with a grain of salt. Okay. So they understand that there's an ounce of truth to every story. And what that truth is depends on what the person uh, wants you to perceive, what kind of perception they want you to have. People are like, you know, uh, that energy knows that people are, are an illusionist. Like you have an illusionist around you. Like they're trying to create some sort of, I feel like somebody around is taking credit for somebody else's work. Uh, and they're not giving credit to where it's due. All right. So if this is you or the other person, well, just ensure like the warning here is you'll reap what you sow and it's going to be seen. You have justice here. Okay. So with justice means that there's like, you can't fool the powers that be, all right? Like, nobody, like, whomever this is, they can't fool the powers that be. So, like, the only person they're fooling is themselves, all right? And in another manner, Capricorn, this is talking about sometimes you need to play the fool to fool the fool, all right? So keep things to yourself. Not everybody needs to know everything. Um, I do feel like somebody has a Sagittarius or, like, a Gemini uh, child, and they... It's not avoidance. I'll give you an example of when a okay, like um, for myself, like because I'm a Sag, right, and my, my dad's a Capricorn. Uh, sometimes I can like leave information out. <laughs> Gemini's and Sages are really good at this. Like so, like I mean, there's a positive way you can imply the Seven of Swords, and a negative way you can um, you can use it. All right. So the positive way is like when I go out with my family, okay, and I said this in somebody else's video, I took my parents once to this 4D uh, theater like ride thing. It had smells and it was like a dome. So and it, it like the seat shot out and they moved around, right, to go with the images. Uh, but I told my parents that we were going to go see a 4D movie. So they thought in their minds we were going to sit down in like a theater and just watch the screen in front of us with like glasses on. I failed to mention it was a ride, you were up in the air, it was in a dome, right? So that's the way you can use the Seven of Swords energy in a positive way. They leave information out. They might not tell you everything because they want you to do something, right? I know if I told my parents what it was, they would look at me like, that's my Aquarius energy, like doing ridiculous things like that with them. And I do it quite often to them, so I don't know why they fall for it every time. <laughs> And Capricorn loves it. At the end of the day, they do love it. But uh, my parents wouldn't do it if I told them, right? Because they would look at it like, that's just strange. Why would we go and do something like that, right? It sounds weird. Where, But uh, leaving that information out um, gave me the capability of getting them there to actually do it, right? Because, you know, they wouldn't have done it otherwise. You may have a kid that may be either a Sag or a Gemini that might do the same thing to you in some manner. So, or you have a kid who's, like, fleeing a relationship or something like that. I'm getting avoidance issues for you, though. Any trickery that's used, you just need to be aware that it will be seen and the scales will be balanced. So, uh, again, going back to the apple tree. Okay, like, this is talking about if your health is getting out of hand. Uh, it could be what the Seven of Swords is talking about. You're lying to yourself. Like, you're not taking accountability for your actions. Okay, because nobody's forcing you to eat anything. That's personal choice, right? So, again, the apple tree earlier, like, when we were talking about, like, um, ethics, okay, and that's very much, like, Libra, okay? This is a Libra card. Uh, it's very much ethics fall into justice, right? If you have, uh, again, with the Knight of Pentacles, it's talking about, uh, in order to be a teacher, you need to constantly be a student. 
All right. Like, and, um, you know, my dad being a Capricorn, he's always showing me that you can go back to school at any point. So if you're like making excuses that you can't go and like, maybe you want to be a lawyer and maybe you're like 30 years old and you're like, I'm too old to be a lawyer. Well, you know what? That's a lie. You're lying to yourself with the seven of swords. Okay. Uh, you're trying to like convince yourself that like a way that, you know, not to do the work with justice. It's like the scales being balanced here. You have to give in order to receive. You can't get one without the other. You got to make some sacrifices in order to gain, right? Like this is talking about making, um, not sacrificing your long term, but sacrificing your short term for a long term gain. The scales will balance out. So if you want to be a lawyer, sure, you might be 40 by the time you graduate, but hey, you did it. Okay. There's no excuses for any actions here. You want a business, you can do it, but it's, there's no shortcuts uh, involved. You want to you want to do research and development. Take your time. Okay. You have. The King of Pentacles here, he's very grounded, practical, methodical. So if you're a woman and, and your husband, he doesn't have to be an earth sign, but your husband's concerns are more on your future foundation, uh, being firm, practical, grounded, um, building brick by brick. Uh, where, like, as a woman, you could be bringing things up from the past when he's more concerned about the future, okay? Like, uh, you want to think about positive things, a bright future, though, Capricorn, not a negative future, okay? Uh, this guy here is also coming up as a Gemini for some reason. Everybody's path is different. Like, uh, like if you and your husband, like, I see, like, somebody, like, two people butting horns, which is... Funny, because that makes me think of my parents, because my mom's an Aries and my dad's a Capricorn. <laughs> Seems like an odd mix, you guys, but it works. It works. They're very passionate. Both of them are very passionate people. Uh, entertaining as hell. <laughs> they definitely live in their own little world. I love it. Uh, they probably created a monster with all of their children, you know? Like, we're, we're all quite unique, all of all of my mom's children. were are definitely installed... Uh, being who you are and not hiding it. And I love that about Capricorn and um, Aries. It's a, I'm quite proud to have them as my parents. <laughs> they drive me up the walls. I'm sure I drive them up the wall. You do have to make movement here towards healthier ambitions and goals. Okay. So if you have children, it's setting good examples for them. If you're talking about giving them healthy food, but you're not eating healthy food, well, then you're, you know, you got to practice what you're preaching here, okay? Like, some of you may need to go talk to a financial advisor, take an accounting course. Um, there's somebody here that you need to go and talk to, like, that can help you clarify things in some manner. So, but you have to ask for the help. You're not just going to get it. All right. Like there's a path that you need to be on. There's something that you need to implement. And there's somebody around you that needs to give you the counsel uh, in an earthly realm. So uh, this is a person that's going to give you uh, information that's going to help you in the here and the now, which means improve on a day to day basis. So it could be anybody from like going to see a physician, going to see um, an accountant, a banker. Uh, it could be going to see a professor uh, a principal, a school person, a counselor, somebody that's going to help you uh, progress forward in a healthier manner. That's what I'm getting. Um, it's a more serious reading for you guys, but hopefully this helped you out. It is what it is, you guys. Like, I mean, I don't get to pick the energies that I receive. <laughs> uh, but you do need to bring down your walls a little bit here, okay? Uh if things start to get hard for you, you want to try to balance out the scales. You want to step back and you want to see, okay, what, what's happening here? What's the lesson that I'm learning? Uh, and you even want to think about, okay, is this something that I've done to like myself? Did I create this situation? Maybe some, like with the Eight of Cups here, ugly murky waters that you want to look at, okay? And then make the healthy changes to it. So if you need to communicate, because I'm getting the here and the now and the everyday, so saying no. When, you, when people are expecting you to say yes, saying what you need, you need more help at home. Uh, this could even be implementing chores for your children, getting your children to get more involved at home, stuff like that. You need help with things, it's uh, talking about it, not holding it in. I'm getting like a holding it in and sitting on it, all right?
go with the flow. Let the water flow. All right? Change is going to come. <laughs> I'm hearing that song. And I'm hearing um, Down by the... Down by the Yonder, I think it's called. All right, you guys. Hopefully this helped you out. Namaste, and I will talk to you next month. Ciao for now.